Yo, what's going on, guys? We're here in Madden because I feel like showing you guys. Wait, I had that huge break and delay in uh, videos for a while, and uh, you're probably wondering, like, what was I doing during that time? Well, whenever I had time to play Madden, this is basically what I was doing. Whenever I had time to do anything, I kind of went into Madden, and then uh, I did this. I called this the GOAT. The GOAT franchise. Here's why it's called the GOAT franchise. I was bored one day. And I decided to um, take the Houston Texans for no reason at all, just the Houston Texans, why not? Uh, turn everyone into a 99 overall and just play with them, see what happens. So as you can see, everyone but Tom Savage right now is a 99 overall. Brock Osweiler is hurt right now. But basically when, yeah, Osweiler gets hurt a lot, I, he's a fag, but um, basically I played with this a lot, and then they announced Brock Osweiler got trades to the Browns, and I instantly lost interest in this franchise, just because it was like, wow, well, I thought Brock was going to be the future of this team. Well, I didn't think he was going to be the future of the Texans, I just thought he'd be on the Texans for a while, and yeah, so then that kind of happened, I was like, wow, that kind of just defeats my purpose, but yeah, and I also traded with for some players, as you can see, I got Odell Beckham. I got Ezekiel Elliott. Uh, I have Martellus Bennett due to free agency signings. Now, the only reason why um, Martellus Bennett's on the team is because, again, I was bored. Let me just remind you, I was bored in this, when I did this. So, I had to take salary cap and turn it off. So, when the offseason happened, I took the greatest players in the offseason, and I signed them all. So, I basically dominate the league. 99 overalls everywhere, as you can see. I got Chris Harris, I got Patrick Peterson, I got Ryan Chazier, Quan Alexander, Khalil Mack. <laughs> I got Damon Harris and Cam Chancellor, Eric Berry. Pretty studly defense. Offense basically stayed the same, except for Odell Beckham and Elliott. And uh, also, everyone is 20, is at least 26 or under. So Vince Wilfork, you can see here. Age 23, been in the league for 13 years, because he's a stud. <laughs> it's just so stupid. JJ Watt, as you can see, 26. Everyone else, basically 26 years old, 25 years old. If they were under 25, I didn't change them. If they were over 25, then I made him younger. Look at this, Eric Berry, 7 years in the league, age 27. So that means he got into the league. The way they count Madden, you add 1 to it, because the rookie year is different. Then the other year after that, so he's been in the league eight years technically. So he started playing in the NFL at age 19, so he's pretty solid. Cam Chancellor, in the year, in the league since he was 18 years old, he's pretty good. Better watch out for him. And my kickers, uh, Blair Walsh is the greatest kicker of all time, sitting at 94 kick power, 94 kick accuracy. But remember, because I was bored, I changed some sliders around. I made everyone on my team amazing, and Blair Walsh could kick like 100-yard field goals. I never kick field goals, though, so really, why does it matter? But yeah, as you can see, it's just, it's so fun. This is just, it was a lot of fun for like a couple days, <laughs> to be honest. But uh, as you can see, look at the scores here from 2017's schedule. I completely dominate teams. <laughs> by hundreds of points it's, it's just fun I, I you know it's just something to do when you're playing Madden and got nothing to do when the ultimate team is sort of boring you get something to do here this is what you do <laughs> so uh what's the new injury here who got injured Osweiler come on man okay so uh yeah and I decided to keep Tom Savage that's the same because why not look at him look what he did he threw for 18 touchdowns in that last game that I played. But you saw the date that I played it. It was a long time ago. So does it really matter? No. 18 though. Let's look at the... <laughs> let's look at the records that I've broken. In the past. I've played a, one season. And three weeks in the second season. So let's see here. We go to in game. So we got passing yards in a game. As you can see. Texans everywhere. <laughs> Osweiler and Tom Savage. Tom Savage appears a lot because Brock Osweiler got hurt a lot. For some reason. He's not on injury, but he gets hurt a lot. Passing touchdowns. As you can see, 
18 in a game by Tom Savage, 17 by Osweiler. 18 by Tom Savage. Man is a 72 overall. He's pretty good. Rushing yards in the game. Ezekiel Elliott, why not? 729 yards in the game. Because he can. Ezekiel Elliott and Lamar Miller just dominate this leaderboard. It's just insane. I think Lamar Miller got this one game because Elliott got hurt and he had to miss the rest of the game. So Lamar Miller took over, as you can see. Rushing touchdowns in the game. Yeah, that's enough said. Receiving yards in the game. Yeah, DeAndre Hopkins, he... I feel like throwing to him a lot that game, so he has a lot, and Odell has a lot, too. Receiving touchdowns in the game, yeah, this is just completely taken over by DeAndre Hopkins with 18 touchdowns in the game. Catches in the game. Again, that that was the one game I just... Oh, come on, Scott, now. I threw a lot to DeAndre Hopkins that game. As you can see, 27 catches in a game. It's pretty impressive. Sacks in the game, yeah, Clowney got 9.5 sacks in one game. So, he's pretty good. And interceptions in the game. My team really doesn't get a lot of interceptions in a game. So, because they're charging at the quarterback. Then we go into a season. As you can see, Osweiler, previous year, threw for 7,800 yards and 110 touchdowns. And, uh, where's, where's Tom Savage? Tom Savage isn't on here. I don't know how much I threw for him last year. <laughs> Rushing yards in the season, Elliott ran for 4,200 and had 55 rushing touchdowns. <laughs> Odell Beckham and DeAndre Hopkins took over the leaderboards in receiving yards and touchdowns, as you can see. This is 2017 season, and DeAndre Hopkins is already third all time. So, we, uh, we're going places. Catches in a season, again, like, here's the thing with my team. Uh, the way I play Madden, like, they don't get a lot of receptions, so they're not going to be breaking that record anytime soon. And sacks in his season, as you can see, J.J. Watt got 34 last year. And that's just mind-blowing. I think he finished, like, fourth in the MVP voting. And Kwan also had 24. And interceptions, I don't think anyone on my team is going to get any interceptions anytime soon. So I feel like showing you guys the game, just to show you how ridiculous it is. If you want to try this at home, it, it takes a, it takes some time to adjust everyone's stats to 99 overall, but at the end, it's very fun. And yeah, let's let's uh, let's advance. We're gonna play the Patriots. Sounds very fun. Tom Brady retires at the end of every season in the franchise, so we're gonna be playing Jimmy G. See how that works out. So we're gonna show you what our run play is like. Watch the pancakes develop. On every O lineman. It's just so. <laughs> Look at how you breaking tackles. And there he goes. He's too fast for everyone. Look at him go. There we go. <laughs> just like that. Let's see, they have one deep safety, so someone is going to get destroyed here. So we're going to hike the ball here. Looking for Hopkins. Oh, it was a terrible throw, but an incredible catch. Almost too easy. Slam plays are also ridiculous because of how fast everyone is. Like, look at Hopkins here. Burns his man off the line. Easy touchdown. This offense is fun. We we'll call a counter play. I'm going to watch the pancakes. Look at the pancake by Will Fuller just now. I got a couple of favorite plays here. Here's one of them right here. So we're going to hike it. As Hopkins burns his man already, catches it, and is in the end zone. All right, guys. The game is finally over. What do we have as the final score? 118 to 24. Let's look at the stats here. So we have Tom Savage getting uh, 11 touchdowns, one interception on 683 passing yards. Ezekiel Elliott running for 220 yards with four touchdowns. Hopkins got 14 catches, 390 yards, eight touchdowns. Odell Beckham with 104 yards, two touchdowns, or 453 and one. Took the defensive side. Will Mack, uh, not Clue Mack, what do we have here? Clowney with four sacks, Vince Wilfork with three, Clue Mack with a half, Cam Chancellor with 12 tackles, any interceptions, Whitney Merciless with two, Patrick Peterson with one, Eric Berry with one. Now guys, I just gotta show you this, this is like one of the last plays of the game, and I was absolutely mind blown when this happened. Where is it? This play right here. 
look at this play. I was in shock when I did it. So I'm going to hike the ball. It's a play-action pass. And Tom Savage is looking for a target. You know, he's, he's examining the field. But the block shot comes off two guys. So now he's getting rushed. He shrugs this tackler. Look at how he throws it. <laughs> Look at this throw over his shoulder in like some weird form. And it perfectly lands in Will Fuller's hands. And then he has to stay in bounds. Which he does, actually. I, I mean, it looked like he kind of ran out right there. But they never called. Oh, no, he didn't. He never ran out. Holy crap. Oh, shit. Let me find that again now. God damn it. Okay, so. Did he ever run out of bounds? I don't think he did. So let's zoom in, like, all the way. Okay, we're all the way zoomed in here. Let's see. Ooh, that's, like, really close. <gasps> he did! I had a feeling he stepped out. But they never called it. Or is there space there? Oh, shit, there's, like, there's, like, a little space there. You see that? Okay, so maybe he was in. He makes the catch. And then stays in bounds. And then goes all the way for a touchdown. That play was just absolutely insane to me. How that happened. Like, I was just complete mind blown. That Tom Savage could just go ahead, shrug off a tackle like that. Make that kind of throw. Make that beautiful catch. Stay in bounds and go all the way for a touchdown. That was just absolutely ridiculous to me. So yeah, there you go. That's that's basically my franchise. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Is that a good idea, bad idea, stupid idea, terrible idea? Probably it's a terrible idea, but who cares? Leave a like if you enjoyed, guys. Subscribe. Do all the crazy stuff down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.